Welcome to the Graphic 45 office. I'm Shari Filamahala here to teach you how to create your very own photo album binder. These binders are great for so many different occasions. And if you're thinking about creating your very own 2019 planner, it's great for that. They're also great if you want to keep track of all those important dates such as birthdays, anniversaries, or if you're just looking for a good old fashioned photo album, this is the project for you. And in this project, I'm gonna teach you some fun techniques, including how to make circular pockets, how to make large tags out of scrap pages. And uh, we're gonna make some really fun vellum pouches as well. This is all a part of our Club G45 2019 series that has been new and improved. So you're gonna to wanna to be sure to join the club all the description and details are in the description below. And uh, this beautiful series is brought to you by Annette Green. And you are gonna love her work just as much as we do. So let's go ahead and get started. In this tutorial, we are gonna be using our craft mixed media album. These are, um, we brought them back in stock after many requests to bring these back. And we are super excited to be using these again because you're gonna see once you rip off that label, you can see that these have so many fun usable pages inside. So they come with photo corners as well as divider tabs, vellum, sheets, ivory, mixed media sheets as well as craft sheets that are nice and thick so they're really great for your cherished memory albums so that is going to be the base of our photo binder and then the collection that we are highlighting this month for club g45 volume one is our garden goddess and we'll be using the chipboard the die cut chipboard as well as these tags and pockets that have been die cut out they're double sided and you get two sheets in there uh, we're also using the gorgeous eight by eight pads these come with three sheets so if you do want to mix this up if you maybe want to make it a masculine project you can use other graphic 45 collections i would just um, suggest using the eight by eight pads and tags and pockets and chipboard to go along with it so you can kind of follow the instructions just using another collection and we'll also be using these amazing ornate metal keys you get eight of those in there and then for 2019 we have partnered up with scrapbook adhesives by 3l and we'll be using uh, highlighting a different adhesive in our different club kits uh, this month we are highlighting the 3d foam circles as you know we always love to pop it up make it fun so that will be in the kit as well or you could use what you have at home and um, you also get a printable project sheet in your kit um, if you want to just follow along in the link of this video uh, you'll be able to find a printable download where you can print this out and follow along even if you're not a club g45 subscriber so before we start this tutorial let me give you a quick tour through the album First thing we want to do to get started on our album is to go ahead and take off that packaging and of that mixed media album and then locate your project sheet. On the project sheet you'll always find a few notes that are handy to use um, including if you do like the look of inked edges like Annette has done with her album. Uh, she would suggest that you go ahead and use a nice brown ink. Uh, we do, uh, Graphic 45 has a dark cashmere ink that you could pick up. Uh, this kit does not come with any inks, so that's just an optional step. Uh, you could use any inks that you have in your stash that match pink, green, yellow, and of course, um, Graphic 45 has all sorts of inks that you can pick up if you'd like. And then the other note is um, with our album, we are gonna be using our eight by eight paper pad, and we have three of each sheet in our eight by eight paper pad. And in the link below, there's also a cutting guide and that will uh, 
help you maximize cutting your papers. So if you uh, want to be sure to reference that when cutting as well. Step one, we are going to grab one sheet of fields of flowers and we are going to trim this down to be six inches by eight inches. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and add on some adhesive onto the back. I'm gonna be using just um, some score tape here to do that. And then uh, just using my handy dandy paper piercer, I'm gonna pull up the ends of my tape. And you could use whatever adhesive you would like for this step. Um, if you like liquid, go ahead and try that out. Or if you're brave and want to try this, uh, let's go ahead and try this. So I'm just going to put this flush with my fabric and then even from the top and the bottom. And there is a bit of a gap, as you can see, about a fourth of an inch on all three sides which works out just fine because we are going to add a cute little yellow border around so just taking some kind of device just make sure we're getting out all those air pockets and creating a nice seal so once we have done that we can move on and we are going to take seeds of kindness and this has been trimmed down to three-fourths of an inch by eight inches and you can see this is where we're it's from a border page let me show you seeds of kindness here and we have taken it from the bottom flip that around and just trimmed off that entire strip um, of both the floral and that cute little swirl, which is about three fourths of an inch. And so we're just gonna take that whole piece and then that is going to go daisy side next to our pink paper. And when we adhere this one down, we wanna be strategic because we are gonna be uh, kind of doing like a pie crisscross and we want to have a border underneath this. So I'm only going to adhere the bottom half down first that way I can get my next placement of my next strip and then add my final strip going horizontally. So I have added score tape to my full strip and then I've just taken some of my fine tip scissors and then just sliced a line about halfway from the bottom. That way I can just pull up just the part that I want and then have my score tape ready to go for when I'm ready to adhere the rest of my strip down. So I have it daisies going next and that's just flush next to my pink strip. So once I found the right placement, you can go ahead and make sure that that has adhered down. And then our next step, we are gonna take a strip from Thoughtfully Planted, and this is gonna be three and a quarters by eight inches. And this is the B side from this gorgeous sheet. So just taking a three quarters of an inch by eight inch strip, and then this is going to adhere all the way down just next to the strip we just put down. So I'll take this off and adhere it. Now that that's been adhered, we are going to pull another strip out of Seeds of Kindness. You can see it's uh, grabbing both this beautiful white uh, daffodil. Is that what that flower is? And then also this beauty blossoms from inside with the sunflowers. And this we want to be uh, seven and a half inches by one and five eighths. And of course, if you want it to be bigger or smaller, you can always do that. And now this is where we are gonna go just underneath this border that we haven't adhered all the way. And I have already added my score tape on the back. And now I am just gonna align this. It's um, weighted a little bit heavy towards the top, so it's not quite in the center. that down there and then once we've adhered that strip we can go ahead and pull off our the rest of the score tape and 
adhere this down. And then of course, I wanna make sure that we're really attaching that. So maybe with bone folder or a brayer, you can go ahead and just squeeze out any air bubbles, really burnishing that down. For step two, we are gonna open up our mixed media album and you might wanna move things around a bit and we are gonna take out all of these pages. There's a lot in there, so you might wanna take them out in sections. We're gonna put these aside for now. We will be using those later. And snap this back up and we are gonna start creating the inside. So we are gonna pull out one of our signature sheets of Garden Goddess, and we are just gonna trim this down just a little bit, um, trimming off one eighth of an inch from the left-hand side here. So it'll be seven and seven eighths by, uh, seven and seven eighths by eight inches, and this we will adhere right there and then from our thoughtfully planted paper we've already used a little bit of this we are going to do some more um, trimming off there we're going to take a one and a half inch by eight inches piece and that is going to fit perfectly on our spine and then we are going to take a six by eight inch piece and that's just going to go on the other side of our binding clip and then we're going to just center this all and adhere it using your choice of adhesive. So I've taken the score tape off of this one and I will walk you through this because I want it to be um, flush with this uh, crease here on the fabric binder and in the center. So just eyeballing that and just slowly adhere this down. work my bone folder from the right hand to the left hand side just creasing out any air pockets and making sure it gets nice and adhered down there and if you are going to use this uh, project for a recipe binder or you live in a humid area you can always add an extra layer of um, some Mod Podge or something like that. I would use a matte Mod Podge and just kind of seal it in so the humidity or um, food splatters won't get it down. So we'll do the same um, with the rest of these. Now that's been adhered, we are gonna go move back to the front cover and now we are going to cut some strips out of the sunlit petals. Beautiful yellow sheet. And we want these, we want four strips and we want them to be a fourth of an inch by eight inches. Now I've put down just a thin layer of the Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive on each of these strips. And then I'm just gonna take my first one and I want that to be flush with my pink diamonds next to that and adhere that down and then I'll take my second strip and do it on the opposite side just having it flush with what we've already adhered and looking good and now that we have our sides down now we can do our top and bottom. So taking another strip and now I am going to have this just right flush at the top with, see how this works out beautifully with the top of our pages. And I'll do the same with the bottom. And 
And then once I've got things in place, you can go ahead and make sure everything has bonded to the front of the album. Voila. Now let's add some dimension to our cover. So we are gonna grab that chipboard from Garden Goddess and we are gonna be using this piece. We're gonna be using it vertically. It should be a beautiful showstopper as well as this pink flower and one of these gorgeous little sunflower circles from the bottom. And then we will be stacking these up and if you would like, you can pull out your foam adhesive and just pop that on there. And if you want to go the extra step, I, you know, with the chipboard, there are always a little bit of these uh, chipboard knobs left on those pieces when you pop them out. So if you just want to take a, like a fingernail file or some sandpaper, you can always go that extra mile and sand those off, depending on you. And then if you wanna keep going, that's a great time to pull out some of your inks and ink up those edges. So just whatever you have in your stash, go ahead and ink those up. Just opening up my adhesive and it has this easy to open top. So you just pull off that top. She gotta love that. And then I'm gonna use just a few of these larger circles to go on the back of my middle chipboard piece. So I'll just use three of those. And you know what's great with these uh, circle foam tips so after you use all your circles you still have this fun a uh, negative layer that you can use to always add dimension in your projects as well so just added three of those on there and lift off those backs and this is going to adhere onto our garden goddess chipboard we want it about in the center of that oval frame. Looking good. And then last but not least, we're gonna take just some liquid adhesive and adhere down the sunflower. And then just using some adhesive of choice, we will glue this onto our front just about a half an inch or so from the right hand side and about um, looks like an inch and a half or so from the top. Step four, we are gonna be using our tags and pockets and just, I tore off the top of mine and now we are gonna pull out one of the two sheets and we wanna grab this cute garden goddess right here with the scalloped top. And that just pops out super easily since these have already been die cut for you and the pockets are already scored. So everything's simple to do. And then with that, we are gonna take off about three quarters of an inch from the top. So we have this nice scallop. And I'm just going to eyeball mine um, and just cut on that first journaling line right there and cut that off. And this is going to just add a little extra dimension and excitement to our cover. Step five, we are gonna pull out the shine from within paper and we are gonna be cutting out this beauty blossoms from inside rectangle. And this is what we are gonna be creating as our sentiment for the front of our album. We're just going to adhere this cute scallop in the center on the back side of there. So I've adhered my beauty sentiment onto the cover. And you can see it's weighted just um, on the bottom left-hand corner 
a little bit heavily so that way it balances out this chipboard nicely it's about i'd say a half an inch from this uh, beautiful little white flower border and the yellow one and then we've taken two of those little chipboard and just using a liquid adhesive adhered those down up there so you can see it's uh, got some great dimension. For step six, we are gonna open up our binder and lay it down as flat as we can. And then we are gonna take thoughtfully planted and trim this down to one and five eighths inch by eight, by eight inches. And that is just gonna go right in the center of our binding area. And I've already added score tape to the back of mine, so it is ready to be adhered. And once I've found the right placement, I can just go ahead and burnish that down onto my spine. And then I'm gonna take some more decorative pieces. So just so it is cohesive with our front, we are also gonna take some sunlit petals and these two strips have been trimmed down to one and five eighths inch by one fourth of an inch. And those are gonna go just at the top and bottom of our spine. I'm gonna use some liquid adhesive to do that. And then I'm gonna take three squares. These are about one inch squares from our chipboard and I'm going to adhere those down. So you can see here we have gone pink, sunflower, pink. So let's go ahead and glue them down. Now just adhering these into place, it's about a fourth of an inch from that top pink border. And then I'm gonna leave about a fourth of an inch in between each one, centering them on the spine of my binder. The nice thing about using some liquid adhesive at this step is that you can always move things around just a little bit to get the placement just how you want it. All right, fix those up and be ready to go. Now we've opened it back up and we are going to be on step seven, taking one of those garden goddess sheets. We are gonna take your fine tip scissors and you're just going to trim around the circle in the bottom right hand corner. So you will end up with a piece just like this. And this is what is gonna be creating our circular pocket down here. So we're just gonna match it up with the paper we've already adhered. So we just wanna add some adhesive to this. I'm going to just uh, flip this over and on these flat sides, these straight sides, I'm gonna add adhesive on there and then just about maybe a quarter of an inch on uh, either sides of the rounded areas as well, just giving it some extra durability and then we're gonna adhere that down. So I'm just gonna use this liquid and have at it. And then making sure everything is right side up and it's all matching perfectly. That is going to adhere in place just like so. And then we'll let that dry and then we will be using that as a pocket later. Step eight, we are gonna pull out our stack of goodies that we took out from inside our album and we are gonna be using one of these vellum pages. We wanna trim this vellum page down to be six inches by eight and a quarter and it is already eight and a quarter long so we just need to trim it down to six inches. So I'm just trimming off those holes so you should have the holes all trimmed off and then a nice six by eight and a quarter inch page. And then this, it's nice and simple. We will just fold this in half. So matching up those corners and then taking your bone folder, we are folding this vellum pocket in half like so. This is going to be creating our back pocket. So. Another pro tip when doing this is 
when you're using our vellum, if you want to glue things on it and you don't want the glue to be really noticeable, using a glue stick that's clear is what we've found to be uh, the best kind of adhesive for the project. So we want to glue up the sides of our vellum sheet. I'm just going to put something plastic down. So, so don't get too much adhesive on my table. So we're just gonna be adding a thin layer of adhesive onto either side of our pocket, like so. And then now we are going to use that bone folder again to adhere it down and make sure everything is flat. And it should dry nicely all together. So now that we have started creating our pocket, the next thing that we want to do is we want to take a Seeds of Kindness and just we're going to trim off this cute little border strip and it's six inches by a quarter inch. And I'm finding the top of our pocket. This is just going to adhere onto the top. So I've adhered my beautiful strip to the top of my pocket, making sure that I know which side opens up. So now I'm just added, I'm going to add just a thin layer of this glue stick to the back of my vellum, making sure to get those corners and adhere this down and you can see it works beautifully. And then we have a nice pocket that we've created. And then just to add a little extra embellishment, we've got one of these goddess chipboard file folder pieces. And we are going to just adhere this down in that bottom right hand corner. Step 10, we are going to be grabbing the bottom two keys from your ornate metal keys. And we are going to adhere these on to the front of our album, just using a nice uh, liquid adhesive. So any metal glue would work great like E6000 or uh, Ranger works great. And I'm just using that Tombow mono adhesive. And so we've got our first small key up here, just a little bit on a diagonal to create some interest. And then we've got our large key is just gonna go right under the Beauty Blossoms from Inside Sentiment. Nice and centered and you can see a little bit of adhesive is spilling out, but that will dry clear. So I'll just leave it to the side and we'll start working on our inside pages. Step 11, we're gonna be creating our own large tags. These are with extra papers from the album that we don't use. So it's a great way to use those up and um, you always wanna keep those around because these are some nice durable card stocks. So we'll be creating two craft and four of the ivory. And you can get two per sheet. So just to show you kind of what I did here, these are measured at uh, four by six and a half inches. So the pages are already six and a half. So we just are gonna cut four from both the left-hand side, four inches off there, and then four inches off the right-hand side, uh, leaving our middle area. We don't need that, but we do wanna cut it that way, that way our circles are in the right place. They're nice and even. And now we can go ahead and create our tag shape. So you can do a number of things. Uh, you can use your packaging to create a tag and then just use this template over and over again. So like we've already created one template out of just some leftover packaging. So it's nice and sturdy and then you can just Take your scissors and trim off either side and you'll have some nice um, consistent tags. Or you can always do the fast um, and easy thing to do. You can just cut off one of the corners, eyeballing how you'd like it, and then just finding the front side. That's the front, so I'm gonna now flip it over and it's going to be in the opposite corner and then I'm just going to trim along that side and that should give me 
a beautiful tag as well. So you can try it either way or you can create a template that way. But the template is nice to then go ahead and cut up the rest of those tags. So we're gonna do the same thing with the ivory, two ivory sheets that we did there with the craft, cutting them down to four by six and a half and then using your template or your corner method to create tags out of these. Step 12 is fun and easy. We are just going to be decorating our new created large tags. So I am just gonna use a bit of liquid adhesive to adhere on a pink chipboard circle onto the top of my, you can see I did leave a little bit blank in the center and I'm just gonna go right over the center of these holes and these tags and then I will set those aside to dry. And now to decorate our ivory tags. See, we've got four of those cut out from our Shine From Within paper. We are gonna be cutting out four of these beautiful cut apart sentiment or image cards. And these will be our pockets on the tags. And then from our Filled of Flowers, we're gonna take a three quarters inch circle punch, as you can see here, and we've just punched out uh, eight circles. So these will go on the tops of our tags. So let's go ahead and get started since we are creating these into pockets. We just wanna do a U-shape adhesive on the sides, top and bottom. Now all of the pockets have been adhered on. You can see they look beautiful. So you can add all your photos or um, it'd be a great place to add those seed packets. Now we are just gonna add these cute little circles in the center, just over lapping the top just a bit. That way it has a little something to pull on to. So you can see we will do the same on all four of these. So just gluing one on the front and then a matching circle on the back side as well. So all six of your tags should now look like this. Step 13, we are gonna be creating these cute vellum pouches. So what you're gonna need to do is grab four of those vellum pages from your mixed media album that we put aside. And then we are gonna start folding these in a really simple way. So you can see there's already two holes punched into each page. So we just want to fold inwards just past that hole on each side. So just making sure that everything is aligned. I'm gonna go ahead and crease that down. And then I'll do the same with this top hole as well. So you will see that it overlaps maybe about a fourth of an inch. And then crease this down and now I'll have this. You'll do the same with all four of your vellum pages. And then once you've done that, you're gonna pull out that glue stick again. Just a clear glue stick will work. And you know, if you don't have one, um, you can always use scrap pieces of paper to kind of hide anywhere that you would uh, place this adhesive. So you could put um, a scrap piece of paper here. So we're just gonna put about, want, don't wanna go over the fourth of an inch mark and just put a nice smooth line. You can't really see it, which is the beauty of the glue stick and then we'll go ahead and make sure that it's nice and adhered down. So we'll do the same with all four of those and starting to create our vellum pouches. Step 15, we are gonna cut four fields of flowers pieces to be four by one inch. And once you've done that, you are going to go ahead and score all four of those on your scoreboard at a half of an inch. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can't always um, go ahead and fold in half. So 
So just slowly working your way. You can fold that in half and then use a bolden folder to crease that. So you can make it work no matter what your supply situation is. Or you can always measure at the half inch mark and score there as well. All right, so we've got that. Those are folded in half and we should have four of these. I have added some liquid adhesive and now I'm going to apply these to the bottom of my vellum where the hole punches are. This way it'll cover those up and it will seal the bottom of my pouch at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. And now you can see we have started to create these super cute pouches. And do the same with all four. And the last step of 15 is just trimming off any excess from your decorative strips off the bottom as you see fit. Step 16, we are gonna take a crocodile and use the small hole to punch about a half an inch down from the top. Move this. And just in the center. And then with that, we are gonna take a chipboard piece as well as one of these super cute ornate keys some thin, either some twine or some small thin ribbon will work great with this as well. And this we are gonna feed through the chipboard and key. And then you'll just tie it through this hole that we just created. And of course, if you don't have a crocodile, you could use a hole punch or, and then we'll just tie this closed. So anything that you put inside of here if they were seeds or other things, um, they would be more likely to stay put. Um, if they are seeds, you might want to actually do an extra flap to seal those in. But for photos or tickets to something memorable that you experienced, this will just hold those all in just beautifully. Uh, if you do, uh, if you don't have a hole punch or you want to keep it a little more simple, you can always uh, just glue your chipboard piece on top too. So just tying your ribbon through the chipboard and the key and then gluing that on. That way you don't have to untie and retie every time you wanna open this up. So it's just another option um, if you are looking to keep it a little more simple. But we'll do uh, that same thing to all four of our envelopes. Step 17, you're going to grab all four of these craft dividers. We're gonna make these cute little decorative dividers out of our sunlit petals. So we're gonna make eight of those using this paper. And a fun tip is you can always use packaging like we did earlier and make a template and then just use your template, uh, trace your template over and over again on your paper and cut that out. So um, if you are gonna do that, just grab some scrap packaging or something else. And then we're just going to line up our tabs onto our paper like so. And I'm going to just make sure I'm getting the most out of my paper. So I've just lined it up. And then you can use um, some washi tape or something to kind of hold this in place. And then just using a pencil, you'll just go ahead and trace around the tab like so and then once we do that you will go ahead and we can just take our paper trimmer and then trim along the bottom edge of this tab and then that will be create our first template and of course if you do it with packaging then you'll have something like this and then you can go ahead and just trace eight of these on your sunlit petals just to show you, I'm just gonna use some scissors to get out this first one. And once I've cut that out, 
can go ahead and just use your fine tip scissors to move around those rounded edges. Like so. Now that you've cut all eight of those out, you can go ahead and use your liquid adhesive and glue those onto the front and back of all those file tab pages. And I'm just gonna grab a wet paper towel and clean up the excess. Now that those have all been adhered, you just want to take your fine tip scissors and trim any excess scraps as needed, any overhang. So, just like so, and there you go. Now from Sunlit Petals, we are gonna create these cute little banners. We're gonna make four of these. So we want to trim out four pieces that are two and an eighth by one and three fourths. And then we are gonna go ahead and notch a V in the bottom of our banner. like so and then that's going to be adhered up just to the top as you can see here step 19 we are going to start decorating those pockets so the first thing we want to do is cut those papers so this is garden goddess and it's we have two pieces that have been cut to six and a fourth by two and seven eighths and we're going to do the same measurements with field of flowers so again it's six and a fourth by two and seven eighths and love grown here. And you know what's great about all of these measurements is you can find them on that printable project sheet in that description. And then also happiness blossoms. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere these onto our file folder tabs. And one will go on the front and the other will go on the back. And then just using that hole punch, you'll just repunch your hole. Again, if you don't have a hole punch, I would just go ahead and trim these down just a little bit shorter so uh, not to obstruct that hole. So if you don't have a crocodile or a hole punch, just go ahead and trim it down just about, uh, I'd say about a fourth of an inch smaller. So instead of six and a fourth, it would just be six inches. So I have just used my liquid adhesive to adhere this on to the front page. And now taking my crocodile with the largest hole punch, I'm going to empty that out, but I'm going to go ahead and repunch that hole. And now I will adhere on my other side and then flip over and punch again. The second part of step 19 is we're gonna take sunlit petals and we're gonna cut these to six and a fourth by one fourth of an inch. And we're gonna take, we need eight of these so we can put one on each side of our pockets. So then we'll go ahead and these adhere just underneath the hole punch on your pocket. So you can see my punch here. So it's just gonna be about an eighth of an inch underneath there. And we'll do that same thing on all of these pockets. For step 20, we are gonna take these four chipboard beauty, this beautiful scallop chipboard. So these are the four we are gonna use and we are gonna use these on those divider pocket pages. So then taking more of uh, whatever you're using, if you're using a thin ribbon, or some twine, we are going to go ahead and tie these through and tie them in a bow. I'm using about 10 inches of that ribbon. So we'll just go ahead and tie a cute little bow and then these will adhere onto our pocket. Just on the front when we'll leave the back. So fixing this. And this will go here onto the front of our divider. And I'm gonna use some of those circle adhesives that you're gonna get in your kit, those from Scrapbook Adhesive, and just pop those on. 
All right, so now that I've adhered these on using some foam adhesive, step 21, we are going to locate four of these craft sheets. And the first thing we want to do to one of them is we're gonna take Seeds of Kindness, and this is cut down to five and three fourths by eight inches. And we are going to adhere this right on that front. So we wanna make sure that our, our holes are off to the left hand side and that we're gonna to wanna to even out our top and bottom. And there should be about, that's about an eighth of an inch of a border all the way around. And then just getting out any air pockets with my bone folder. That is the first thing that we are going to do with that paper. And then we are gonna grab from our tags and pockets. So these are already die cut, as you remember, and scored. So we are gonna just grab this cute little sunflower set. And these we are going to adhere on the tabs back here and then back here as well. And I'm gonna put this in the bottom right hand corner and then tuck in our little tag. Now that this has been adhered together, I'm gonna to put that off to the side for now and we're gonna work on our next page. So this is using our shine from within paper and it's been cut to the same dimensions where, which are five and three fourths inch by eight inches. And since we're using that eight by eight inch paper pad, a lot of these cuts are super simple to make. It's always nice when you're doing a bigger project like this. That way you try to simplify it, making the cuts a little simpler, as well as um, repeating some of the steps. So you get to still have all the fun, create a beautiful project without all the stress and without it just piling up for unfinished projects. So now just taking this tag and pocket set, the Garden Goddess, and then this cute little folder, we are going to adhere these together. And then down on the page, we're not gonna uh, fold this flap because we want to use that as a decorative piece just to give us some more flavor on the page. So we're gonna adhere that down. So this has been adhered down and now we are working on our next craft page using our sunlit petals. And again, this is cut to five and three quarters inches by eight inches. And we're just gonna find a nice eighth inch border on the top side, right hand side and the bottom. And then push out any air pockets with our bone folder. And of course, if you like the other side more than what we have chosen to use, always feel free to make your own fun, creative decisions. And with this one, we are gonna create this adorable little envelope pocket. And this is gonna go down here and then this slides right in. So adhering these two sides, we'll close this up. We wanna leave this um, part up and then we're going to adhere the envelope on the back. Now that this has been glued together, we are going to adhere on our last paper, the filled of flowers. And again, it's cut to five and three quarters by eight inches. So we're just repeating those steps and then we've put together, we'll be putting together this last pocket. Super cute. And this is going to adhere on this side and then we are gonna fold up this cute little scallop. And this adheres on here and then this tucks in. So I'll go ahead and glue it all down. So that's it for step 21. So you should have all four of your craft front pages looking like this. And then the next step we will do is just flipping all those over for step 22. Now we have flipped these over and we're gonna work on the B side of our craft pages. And these are gonna be uh, using the same 
featured paper on the back side and we're just gonna be creating a cute little pocket on the left hand side to hold those ivory tags we created earlier. So here we're using that green diagonal and this is Seeds of Kindness that's been trimmed down to two and a fourth by eight inches. And then again on the reverse side of this, we have Shine From Within at two and a fourth and eight inches. And then the same measurements for sunlit petals and fields of flowers. And we'll go ahead and just adhere. Now we want to adhere this in a U shape. So I'm gonna flip this over and I wanna keep in mind, since I want my pocket to be on the left-hand side of my page, that when it's flipped over, it's I'm adding adhesive to the right-hand back side. So when I flip, back over the adhesive is on the left hand side that is a simple mistake that can be made I can make often when I'm not paying too close of attention on where to put my adhesive with what side I want my pocket on so we will just do the same again so I'm gonna put some adhesive on the top the bottom and the right hand back side, which when we flip this over, that goes right on the left hand. And I'm gonna leave a nice border. That's about an eighth of an inch from the top side and bottom. And then once we have these all completed, We'll just tuck in those ivory tags we created earlier. This is a great way to use up those scraps. And you know, it's making a simple page, but once you add in your tags and you put this into your binder, it's gonna be just stunning. So now we will add our tags. And you can see these are just gonna slide right in to our pages like so. Now we can put these to the side and move on. For step 23, we are gonna take four of those ivory papers that come from the mixed media album. And we still have lots of papers to work with as you can see. And then we are gonna take our Happiness Blossoms paper and we are gonna create four of these one by eight inch strips. And we are gonna be creating identical pages using some of our uh, paper strips. So I have already added some um, nice double-sided tape adhesive to the back of one of my strips and I have done it in a bit of a U shape. I'll show you with another one. So you can see here, just on the top and the bottom and then on one side. And um, when it's on the reverse side, it's on the left-hand side. So it's going to create, um, it's gonna glue on the right-hand side of our page. And it's gonna be just, it's an option there. And I'm gonna put about a eighth of an inch on the bottom and sides and top. So it's all even. So once I have my placement, can go ahead and take our bone folder and just make sure that that is adhered on there. And now you can see um, 
when we do go add some photos and things like that. If we want to use it as a tech spot, we can. Um, or you can just always slide in some extra layers of photos and things underneath there. It just gives you some more options by just adhering it down that way. And then the next step with each of these pages is going to be to take a strip of thoughtfully planted, and this is six and a half by one quarter inch. And I've just added some adhesive onto the reverse side. And this is going to adhere just on the bottom, about a half an inch from the bottom. And it's all the way flush with the left-hand side. I'm just making sure that that is nice and even. Go ahead and Adhere that down. I used liquid adhesive for this one, so it is still able to adjust because it did move a little bit while I was adhering it down. Perfect. And now our last step with these are, we're just gonna take some of those uh, cute little pop-outs from your tags and pockets and adhere this down to our page. So again, I don't want, I'm not sure what I'm going to be adhering on here, what photos or whatnot. So I'm just gonna put adhesive just on this one side. That way I can always slide in extra things from behind there and I can adhere it down later if I'd like to. So we are gonna do the same with all four um, all four pages. Now, how cute are these? So just a few strips of paper can really make this shine. So like this says, shine from within. And as you can see, I left it unadhered here. So that way, um, anything that I want to adhere down. So if I did want to glue something like a tag down there, I could go ahead and glue it down afterwards. Now we are gonna flip these over and work on the B side. So now we want all of our holes, our hole punched on the right hand side. And I'm gonna set those aside for a second. So we are gonna be cutting out our seeds of kindness paper. So we've already been working with this, but because you have three sheets, remember we're gonna be using each of them a lot and we are going to be cutting out some of those cute little borders so for example i want to cut out this lovely garden goddess lovely pink border and each one that i want i want it to be about an inch so just kind of depending on where that border ends and stops is more important than how wide it is so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this so it's approximately an inch, and now I have a one by eight inch strip, and it's from the top and bottom of my border. I'm gonna do this with four of those, and I'll show you which ones I use in a moment. But after we cut that, then I want to cut off an inch and a half off my eight inch strip to create a cute little banner. So I'm gonna cut this down to six and a half inches, cutting an inch and a half off the right hand side. So it should look like this at this point. So now that we've cut out four of those strips that are approximately one inch by eight inches and then trimmed off the right hand side an inch and a half, we are gonna start creating our cute little banner here. So I'm just going to notch a V in the bottom. And then if you want all of yours to be consistent after that, you can just put them on top of each other and uh, trim out from there. But just to show you, these are the banners that we have selected for ours. Now I've added, added some double-sided tape adhesive to either side of my one inch strips. And you can glue the whole thing down if you'd like, but if you wanna leave your options open, you can go ahead and do it this way. And then we're going to adhere this down. It's about a quarter inch from the top and it goes all the way from the left hand to the right hand side. 
And once you've found your placement, go ahead and apply that pressure. And now I've just added a little bit of double-sided adhesive to the top of this banner. Again, you can always go back and glue it down, but this leaves it a little more, leaves your options open. And then this is going to adhere about, uh, I would say a fourth of an inch from the left hand side. So looking super cute, but if you want to adhere it all down, you can go ahead and do that as well. So we'll just go ahead and do the same step for the other three. Now that those have all been adhered down and are looking beautiful, we can move those to the side and pull in four more of those ivory sheets. And we are gonna start creating these cute little pocket pages that hold our vellum pouches that we made earlier. So next we are gonna take our thoughtfully planted paper and we are gonna cut four squares that are gonna be four inches by four. So we're gonna need four of these. And after you do that, we are going to take the square and we are going to fold the top left-hand corner diagonally down. And you're gonna go ahead and wanna crease that. And of course, um, I would just suggest eyeballing it because it's gonna look great regardless. And you do want about, so the bottom and the side, it is about an inch and a half. That is the flat area that has not been folded over. And go ahead and once you get the placement that you like, go ahead and crease that. And then if you'd like, you can always use that as a guide once you've done one. And Fold your others along with that. So I've kind of created my ghost score line and now I'll go in and crease that edge. And once we have created that with all four, we'll just take a bit of glue, you can use any adhesive you'd like, and just a dot to keep that little tab down so this is a fun way to showcase both sides of the paper and just do the same voila now we have done that, we are gonna be creating our cute little pockets. So these are gonna go on the front of our new ivory pages. And so you want your hole punches on the left-hand side. And again, we're going to put about an eighth of an inch of a border around. So I'm just gonna add my adhesive onto these flat areas. and adhere this down. And then of course, always wipe off the excess with a damp paper towel. And we'll just recreate this step uh, three more times. Those are all adhered and just something to be mindful of when you're folding in those corners that you do want to make sure that your pattern is upright and you are folding the right corners so it's not upside down or sideways. And then we're going to take those vellum pouches that we created and those are just going to tuck inside. Um, but I'm going to hold off on tucking those in just yet so we can start working on the back side. So we'll flip all these over. Step 27, we are gonna take the shine from within paper and just using those smallest little cut aparts, we are going to cut those out and then we are gonna glue those cute little cut aparts on the bottom left-hand corner. And again, I'm just gonna do that in an L shape. So we can always use that as a text spot or put a large photo or something sentimental down underneath there. 
So we'll go ahead and do that with all those. Now that those are looking fabulous, we can turn those all around and now we can tuck in our vellum pockets, pouches, pockets, envelopes, whatever you want to call them. And so now that we've done the hard part, we just get to put our pages and tags where they go. So those craft large tags go in like so. I'm gonna open up that binding ring. Our first page is gonna be this beautiful divider. And you can see it's got the top folder file tab, the green diagonal paper with that cute ivory tag that comes out. This is the next ivory page. And then our ivory page with the vellum pouch. And then at that point, we just repeat the process uh, grabbing the next file tab and pages. And then you'll do that with all four sets. This completing your beautiful photo album or your planner. We hope that you share with us how you're going to use this project and what are you going to do with your extra pages, uh, what your favorite tips are. We always love learning from you. Just a few added tips. If you do want to decorate the back of your album, you will have some scratch papers left over so you can go ahead and pull out any extra paper you'd like and fit it to the back of your album. And you can see you've got lots of extras. You can do a patchwork project or uh, just do one big piece as if you'd like. And then another thing, I know if your album, your planner is gonna be getting a lot of love, you may want to do some hole reinforcers. So taking some more of that scrap paper that you've got left over, I would suggest uh, just taking some um, of that dry adhesive and if you have a larger one, you can just do like a half inch strip down. Otherwise, I'm using two strips of the fourth inch. And I'm going to go ahead and take either you can take your hole punch or your crocodile and just punching some holes in the center where I have put my my double sided tape. You can just space those out about an inch apart, give or take. And once you've done that, you can take a half inch hole punch and just go back in and cut those out. So you want your the hole that you punched out to be in the center. And then these will create some beautiful little um, reinforcers, whole reinforcers that you can take off that score tape and just adhere those onto your pages, making sure that nothing will rip through and you'll get years and years of love with your pages. So hope you like those added tips. And of course, thank you so much for creating this tutorial with us and being a part of Club G45. Be sure to share your projects using the Club G45 hashtag. And as always, happy paper crafting.